Have you ever wondered what it takes to write a very strong landing page? Oftentimes we get caught up in the images and perhaps tripped up on our words because we don't exactly know how to position what it is we have to offer to our online community. Well, recently I had the opportunity to walk through a landing page of a business I hold in very high regard. And I hope that you find my critique helpful as well. We go over the elements of strong copy, but more importantly, we take a look at the functional elements, the structural elements of where the message ought to be placed on the page, what type of hooks should be used, and the order in which that information should be presented. So for a sneak peek into the process of how to evaluate whether the copy on your landing page is strong, and if you've put the right words in the right order, take a look at this deep dive I did just a little bit ago for some great tips. We do a quick copy review of the landing page for the uh, breastfeeding course, the Thompson Method. And before we dive in, just want to give you a quick reminder, the purpose of this video is to critique the copy that's on this landing page, maybe give some tips and feedback from a direct response perspective. And to be very blatant, the subject matter is going to be about breastfeeding education. That means if you have challenges uh, listening to words like breastfeeding, nipple pain, or general bodily fluids that happen from a functioning female um, at this special time in their life, you may want to stop watching the video right now because we will be chatting about all those things as we tap into some of the physical and emotional pain their clients go through in making a decision of whether or not to purchase. So heads up, if breastfeeding is not your jam, um, go ahead and watch something else for a little bit. But if you're willing to hang out with us for a little bit, I think some of the information that we're going to share could be helpful, even if you're not selling a breastfeeding course. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I want to let everybody know that whenever you go to create copy, specifically direct response copy, it's super important that you always have a very, very clear picture of to whom you are writing. And that means you need to have a really detailed avatar. So super quick, high level in this particular case, our avatar is going to be a female of um, childbearing age. Chances are she has just given birth and is probably experiencing some difficulties nursing her baby or she is pregnant and will be giving birth soon and intends to breastfeed her baby. Um, she may have had a previous experience that wasn't ideal and wants things to go better this time or perhaps she's a first time mom. Either way, the person that we're writing to is someone who is at a very big, very important um, life phase right now. She's really tired. She's really stressed out. She is physically inherently uncomfortable, either pre-birth or post-birth. It's, it's not a pleasant time of being. Um, but most importantly, chances are, if she has come to this course, there is something wrong with her breastfeeding her baby. So she is probably experiencing pain because baby isn't latching right. She could have some physical concerns regarding um, either nipple injury from a previous experience. Um, perhaps she has engorgement. There's something physically happening that is impeding the breastfeeding process, either for her or with her baby, how her baby is latching. She's probably really concerned, not only because she hurts, but she wants to make sure that her baby is getting enough food because mothers usually want their babies to thrive. And so there's that concern that's layered in on top of that. She probably isn't sleeping really well. She may or may not be getting the peak nourishment of where she's at. So there are a lot of things kind of fighting against this woman when she entertains the thought of purchasing this program. Super important to kind of put yourself in her shoes and see things from her perspective. And the reason why I spend so much time talking about this is the copy I discovered on this particular page has a lot of really great information, but it's presented in a very medical way. It's very neutral. It is void of any emotional connection. You have a gold mine of opportunity. As a mom who has birthed and breastfed eight children, I know firsthand how traumatic it can be to give birth and things not go right. I was looking at your copy and my oldest child is 18. She's going to college in a couple of weeks and I totally and completely stirred up some old trauma with regards to that experience. On the flip side, I've had some beautiful experiences with some of my other children once I had figured a few things out and realized what a transformation it can be to go from someone who is in a lot of pain who has a lot of worry, who is hurting both physically and emotionally to someone who can breastfeed with confidence, knowing that their baby is getting all the nutrients and you can truly enjoy that bonding and loving experience. 
I want you, when you look at your copy, to have that idea that you will be speaking from a position of authority through that lens of empathy when we communicate with our audience. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the copy itself. I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about as we move down the page. So let's go ahead and go up to the top. I mentioned at the beginning, one of the biggest opportunity areas is revisiting the copy so that it really engages the emotional component of a woman who is struggling to best breastfeed. My first comment is your headline does nothing in the way of emotion. So I would encourage you to revisit that and grab a woman's attention with regards to both the um, identifying elements of pain, but also the transformational benefit of what happens when they employ the Thompson method and learn how to breastfeed without pain and they can do so with confidence in this the, the empowering program that you have to offer. Similarly, the copy here, this hero image, this is the most important part of your entire sales page because this is where you're gonna grab their attention or lose it forever. We know that the average visitor has only seven seconds to make their decision of whether they want to continue this online journey with you or if they're gonna bail. So you want to take every opportunity to tap into the emotional elements of a woman who is gonna land on your site, who is probably in pain, who is probably having struggles or has previous struggles and knows that they need to do something different. So you have an opportunity area to revisit the text in your hero image, to focus on pain points, and to focus on how the Thompson Method is a prescription literally for that relief. As a side note, this um, buy box here, it's a little bit early to see this, especially with all of these elements just bullet pointed out. I would highly recommend that you move this buy box further down on the page. And also I would revisit what it includes to make them benefit driven rather than menu minded. What that means is rather than telling me it's got just eight modules or 50 HD videos and transcripts and audio files, this is great. But nobody's gonna make a buying decision on eight modules versus six modules or 10 modules. They're gonna make a buying decision because you've tapped into the emotion of providing relief from the physical and emotional pain they are experiencing because breastfeeding is not going how they planned. Um, as we move down the site, let me move my notes here. I would encourage you to be more direct in your language. Again, the information is great, but it's very neutral. And our goal as marketers is to tap into that emotion to induce action. So this language here about how it's a comprehensive course on how to avoid and overcome that pain, where we talk about elements like cracked and damaged nipples, low milk supply, and a crying unsettled baby, this is great emotional language. So I would encourage you to revisit this and speak more in this tone as opposed to the super neutral tone that we saw higher up. This headline here is a great opportunity to directly call out your audience. We know that you are marketing towards women. So it's not who is this course for, rather you might consider saying, hey, this course is for you if you are a woman who, then you articulate these pain points and the desired relief. Um, in marketing, we talk about phrasing benefits in a way that is both carrot and stick. So we want the stick to be painful or stressful complications and the carrot talking about enjoying breastfeeding next time. So you wanna make sure that you have both of those emotional triggers inside of each of your explanations. So this statistic here, this information is great, but we can make this language even more direct by getting rid of some extraneous words. If you were just to come out and say in big, bold letters, hey, 85% of women with nipple damage report improved outcome in only one session with the Thompson message, that is a significantly stronger statement than in Dr. Robin's research, these women did this. So get straight to the point, have that high intensity, that high impact stat, make those words bigger. You should have a bigger, bolder font there and cut out the extraneous words. So moving down, again, this is very academic and I appreciate the wealth of knowledge that is encapsulated in this program. However, as a marketer, it needs to be more exciting. So you need to remember that a woman who's looking at your program isn't here to learn. She is here to find relief and she's going to find relief by learning, yes, but really, she doesn't want to learn. She wants it not to hurt. She wants her baby to stop crying because her baby will be fed. She wants to have an enjoyable experience. So I would encourage you to revisit this language here and um, 
make the language more benefit driven as opposed to just menu minded. And this is a great opportunity here. We, if we know that pain is the number one reason why women give up, we can call that out in big letters. And then I would encourage you to choose three to four of these elements, maybe six or eight, depending on how you want them to line up. And rather than just bullet pointing these being menu minded, I would have your headline talk about painful nipples. And then I would have some copy discussing that would agitate that every woman who has nursed and has experienced painful nipples knows about the agony that goes into that understands the products they may have purchased previously to help that haven't worked they know that it is both a dread and a joy to feed their child not to mention the emotional conflict of wanting the very best for your child and if you believe that's in breast milk with the fear of what it's actually going to feel like because the last time you nursed your baby it was just inherently traumatic in being brutally honest and having your testimonials and people who can speak from first person experience of the pain that they are probably walking through which is why they found your course and the transformational benefit once they learn how to hold their baby correctly or how to encourage a natural latch it will blow their minds. And so rather than assuming they know painful nipples means fill in the blank and we'll just kind of keep going on our category, spend some time with each of those topics, taking your reader through a quick journey of, it was really horrible before you knew how to do this, but now that you have the solution, something really awesome is going to happen. And I would have less topics and I would go into greater depth um, under each of those to help um, share the benefits of what your program will teach. So one of the things I love is this line right here. And really this line right here that says commonly taught forceful practices are closely linked to painful breastfeeding and complications. And many women are still suffering because of it is really the big idea. The big idea that there is this huge lie in the lactation community that says, if you want to nurse, this is how you hold your baby and this is what you have to do to your breast to uh, i remember my first lactation consultant she said you need to squeeze your breast and make it like a big juicy hamburger and just shove that in your baby's mouth um, so that she can get a good latch and i didn't know any better so i was like well i'm in the hospital they're doctors they know what they're doing i should do this and it just really didn't set me up for success if you can call out the lie that contemporary lactation consultants are perpetuating and let your audience know that there is a different way to achieve that success. That is key. You need to let your audience know that it's not just another educational program. You're not selling another bottle of bag balm or ice cubes or anything else that will help make it better, that you truly have a different way to guarantee, to get them to that successful point of where they can enjoy nursing their baby and the bonding and the nutritive elements of it. That's super important. So this line right here is like your, your big idea, your key. So I would encourage you to use this as a paradigm so that when you create your copy, you are speaking from the authority of Dr. Robin's credentials and her years of experience through that lens of empathy, working with women, maybe your own um, experiences, to share with your audience how you have a completely different way to help them than everything that they've been taught or tried in the past. Um, I love this autobiographical section here. Perfect, I wouldn't necessarily change anything about this. This is really great and it also comes at a good point. So as far as like structurally, this is a great spot to have this component here. And as we move down to the actual description of what is in the course, the course content, again, I feel like a broken record, but the content is very neutral and medically minded. I would encourage you again to shift to a benefits driven articulation of what you have to offer, focusing on the transformational benefit. So we are not going to be talking about avoiding nipple pain. We'll be talking about um, common misconceptions with nipple pain and how the Thompson method can provide immediate relief, something like that. So again, we want to be talking in terms of transformational benefit, avoiding the menu minded, just bullet points of what's in each course, because people aren't going to buy your course simply because you're changing old habits. 
They're going to buy your course because the information you have to offer and the training that you can provide will provide relief. They will feel better. They will be more confident. Their babies will be fed. People will be happy. You want to paint the beautiful image of the mom nursing her baby and the baby just passes out nurse drunk and has that beautiful milky smile on their face because whether they know it or not, that's the goal that we're able to feed without pain. Baby is full, baby's happy, and then takes a nice long nap so we can do whatever else it is that we need to do with the rest of our lives. <laughs> All right, um, as we move down this page, um, quick notes, uh, this is a great opportunity for a call to action. So rather than just saying, hey, these are the course reviews, I would encourage you to say, hey, join these over 1,500 women, again, we wanna call out our audience, um, who've had this incredible success and are getting these amazing results. Uh, my next note is with all of these testimonials, I would encourage you to put the pictures of the ladies. I saw elsewhere on your site where you have like a headshot or a picture of the mom and baby and these words, just because it will allow the viewer to more closely identify with the people as opposed to having a name and a city that they came from. So I understand that this might be in the template that you're using, but if possible, I would encourage you to have, since you have them, the pictures of mom and baby next to the nice words they have to say about the program. All right, going through. I love bonuses when it comes to digital courses. I have personally bought courses because I wanted the bonuses more than I wanted like the, the core material that was being offered. So you have a real opportunity area here. When I took a look at these bonuses, what immediately caught my eye was this image and the idea of having a pain-free breastfeeding course. I kid you not, my oldest daughter is going to college, I think, revisiting some of this information like brought some latent trauma. Um, but if there is a way to separate these two, have a greater discussion around the values and the benefits that each of these bonuses provide. So give them more of a platform and just really trump their, uh, trumpet their benefits would be a great opportunity area for you as well. I would also, before you get to your FAQs, increase a stack. That's something, a term we use in marketing that shows exactly what you're going to get when you purchase and it kind of goes line by line by line. It should be value based or benefit based as opposed to just menu minded. So you will be getting, um, you know, all the audio recordings, all the MP3 so that you can download and listen to the information in your car, um, you know, during your commute or something like that so that you can be absorbing that information um, without any hassle. So if that makes sense, rather than just saying, I get this many MP3s, this many MP3s, the benefit is I can download it and listen to it at my convenience. So you wanna make sure that you have a stack before your FAQs. Your FAQs are good, but they are incomplete. When you look at a sales page, your FAQs is really a place for you to overcome objections. So I want you to think about all the reasons why someone might not purchase your program, write them all down, and then I want you to overcome each of them. For example, if one of the objections is, I don't know if I wanna spend that much money on a program that I'm not sure is gonna work, right? So your objection is like price point and how effective the course is. Well, you would overcome that objection by saying, well, we offer a 14 day money back guarantee. And so even if, um, so, so if for whatever reason, you don't like this program, no questions asked, you'll get your money back. So truly, if it was, I don't know if it's gonna work for me or not, and I don't know if I wanna spend the money, that excuse is gone because you've overcome that objection with your 14-day guarantee. So in your FAQs, you should include all the objections, and then in your drop-down, you should overcome those objections. As we move through the FAQs, you're, you've got all the objections and you've overcome those objections, um, I would highly recommend putting in another stack and it should be a stack that's embodied inside of a summary. So we really wanna hit home all of the benefits. So we're gonna talk about your core product on the benefits, what the value is of that. So like a dollar amount value of that. Then each of the bonuses, we're we'll talking about the bonuses, the incredible elements that are in that, and the value of that. So that it's lined up because people make decisions emotionally but they logic into them. So I see that currently you're charging, I think it was like $65 US or what have you. After you break out all those components, if I see that there is like $1,200 of value and you're only asking me to pay $65 US, 
it kind of becomes a no brainer, right? But I don't know that because as I'm reading, I'm not somebody who's gonna be doing like the mental math keeping up. I'm gonna see what's presented in front of me. So right here after your FAQs, which is a nice way to overcome objections, you wanna go ahead and put another stack. Finally, at the very bottom, you want to make sure that you have your risk reversal. So um, language to the extent if we use the, um, if we use the, I don't know if I'm going to get it because I don't know if it's going to work for me. Um, the risk reversal would be something like this. Um, if you try the product and you use the product, you, you take the course and you are not happy for any reason, it's really important to us that we don't keep your money if it doesn't work for you or if you aren't satisfied. It's not even satisfied. It's like if, if we can't help get you that relief, we don't deserve your money. And so in order to take all the risk away, we ha are gonna give this to you for 14 days. And if you don't like it, we will give you your money back. So you want language that really highlights the fact that you stand behind your product, you are confident that it is going to work for them. And if for any reason it doesn't work, they're gonna be go ahead and get their money back. Um, again, you want a really powerful summary here. And then your call to action button right here, which is great. So that's the landing page. Quickie bonus is I went ahead and clicked to see what would happen and I got to their buy page and I know this has come as no shock for you, but your buy page does a really great job of being menu minded, telling me exactly what I can expect, um, like bullet pointed, but what it does a very poor job is explaining to me why I should be excited to give you my money. Your buy page is the last thing that people see before they put in their credit card numbers. So this copy should not be, hey, you're gonna save 25%. It should be, if you hurt, I can make it better, right? Agitate the pain, provide the resolution. And the only way I can make it better is if you purchase the program and implement it in your life. So while this information is great, you have a huge opportunity area on this copy right here. So there is my quickie review on the landing page for the birth and breast feeding program um, of the Thompson Method. Big takeaway, the copy needs to be direct response. We need to move away from the medically minded copy, focus on benefits driven, and we need to really tap into the emotional state of where your buyer is when she's coming into contact with this landing page. Man, I love doing things like that. I get so excited when there is an awesome brand out there that's really putting a lot of good out into the world and they're looking to have a greater impact. If you're a business that's looking to have a greater impact and have a feeling that perhaps your message just isn't positioned right, let me know. That's something I'd be happy to help take a look at and do a critique just like this for the words on your page. But as we wrap up, what I wanted to leave you with is that this brand had an amazing start at the copy. They know their customers so well. The changes that they needed to make were structural, functional, if you will, to get the right pieces of the message in the right place to have greater impact. So I'm curious, what surprised you about that? When you take a look at your own copy, where are the moves that you can make to increase your presence, to optimize your message, and increase the impact you'll have on the people you serve? Hey, if this critique was helpful for you, and that's something that you'd like me to do for your copy, go ahead and click the link below. I would love to take a quick review and walk it out just like I did for these guys. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk again soon.